So all you happy campers out there at Hollow Point Land, I am setting up the Texan 257 stock, 257 air rifle, long barrel. Um, I'm shooting the 117 grain, 117 grains, or I guess 111 17. So I like having extra rifles with me when I, I go to Uncle Ted's on the pig slam. I have not killed a pig yet with this. I'd like to, but finances being what they are, I don't know if I'll get a chance to. But I like having an extra rifle just in case somebody's rifle breaks down or whatnot. There's 117 grain behind the shoulder blade, angling away, will drop a pig in 25 yards or less it is a deadly combination um, the 257 is not normally a large game rifle but with the foot pounds this is generating and the size and length of that slug it will easily put it right in the boiler plate it will bust everything up um, my usual motto is to go with, if you're under 50 yards, go as heavy as you can to do as much damage as you can. There's no, no sense in skimping here. Um, if you're under 400 foot-pounds of energy, go for the archery shot. Wait until the animal is quartering away so you can put it behind the shoulder blade. You know, avoid bone on the way in. So it's a straight shot right into the vitals. The idea is to turn that whole head, those lungs and heart into jello, okay? So if you like jello pops and pudding pops, I guess you could say you're going to slip in the hot Cosby. Ooh, is it too soon? So with that being said, uh, let's do a little shooting, okay? Air Force, the way to go. Now with the close-up, what I've got here is a Neil Clegg air stripper. Uh, Neil makes a wonderful, wonderful product uh, if you like the full shroud effect, which I do. Uh, I've just got a little El Cheapo pick rail here with a laser as a backup to make sure if something happens, I've always got two sets of sight reference. Um, I've got a Zeiss scope on here, which again, I'm not really, the scope costs more than the rifle. And let me tell you about high-end scopes. Uh, they blow because you've only got a few clicks in either direction and you're already four inches off the barrel so i've got a uh, moa scope base so i can really tilt you know tilt the scope so i can get this baby on paper that's the downside to these high-end scopes a beautiful image but you just have no adjustment because you're not doing 2,000 feet a second you're doing 800 feet a second so that is the Mr. Hollow Point setup. Uh, no tune job, nothing, no aftermarket products that will void my warranty. And we'll be shooting way out there at the old spotted targets. So. Since this is suppressed, I don't have to wear any ear protection, which is a blessing. I just have to deal with my uh, blurry vision. The other thing, one of the things that frustrates me with, I like this lead sled because it's got, it's got the cutout so the pistol grip doesn't bump the bar on the early version. But this plastic uh, uh, front rest, everything teeter totters on it. It doesn't, if I could take the other one off the previous, I liked it better. It, uh, it locked in a little bit. I don't feel like I'm having to struggle as much.
But since everything does teeter totter and flop around, I guess that really would be a better, you know, nervous excitement sticking out the window of a blind. Especially if you're propping off a shooting stick. I am really pleased with this. My first shot sucked, but that was me. You can't argue about that. I'm ending up with a 20, looks like 25, 2600 PSI, starting with 3000, 3100, give or take. Let's go take a look. Now, these may not be the mint results you're looking for, but considering that I am a horrible shot, I'm extremely happy. I know this gun will do circles around anything else. So there was shot number one, and I know that was me that sucked because there's shot number two, shot number three, shot number four, shot number five. So, you know, reasonable deduction, it's me. Uh, the 117 is very accurate and very deadly. Oh, if I had more money and a sponsor, I would definitely be shooting more pigs. Uh, here's an interesting note. Uh, I did that DNA, that the uh, DNA genetic testing at 23andMe, and I found out that through the uh, genetic makeup, that uh, I'm actually uh, uh, got a relation with Air Force. I uh, come to find out that uh, Tom Jones, that works at Air Force, is actually my biological father, which I think is amazing because I'm older than he is. So, but you can't, the results don't lie. It's amazing. You know, my father always told me the milkman, uh, <laughs> I look more like the milkman than I did him. I didn't realize that it was Ton. So, hey, Ton. Hi, Dad. Miss you a lot. Uh, especially those uh, 57 birthday cards you haven't sent me. Oh, side note. So, we'll get back to shooting. I'm trying to figure out what's going on with the soup can because the big exits right here I was nailing the heck out of it right here and they were going right through coming out the big exit hole that bullet is moving so fast that this can didn't even budge I was like I can't be off I can't be missing and I wasn't Problem, ding, and he's gone. Oh, they definitely take the pounding. Okay, guys, the 257 Texan is DNA dead nuts on with the 117 grain. That is my uh, big bore bullet for the small caliber. This baby is ready to go. Hopefully, depends on how things go. We may put a pig down with this one, but we'll just have to see. 
Mr. Hollow Point's not a rich man. So, uh, you know, I'd love to have some uh, sponsors out there pay for a pig hunt. We're going to have a good time. We are ready to go. Uh, thanks to Air Force. Thanks, Neil Clay. Uh, we are ready to rock with this. And uh, hopefully I'm going to hear from uh, my, 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 my father who must have gave me up, uh, Tom Jones. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Mr. Hollow Point, out.